We have already shown a skewed magnet version of an asymmetric magnet motor, and now we will disclose horseshoe magnet versions that can be built at home. The experiments shown here can be easily replicated with magnets, inline skate bearings, wood, and glue. Unfortunately, the right size magnets are relatively scarce and expensive. The principles of asymmetric magnet motors are not new. Tom Bearden has indicated the concept is over a hundred years old. In fact, all motors fundamentally produce torque and subsequent rotation using asymmetric principles because there is no other way. Horseshoe magnets offer advantages which outweigh the main disadvantage of limiting the number of rotor magnets. No expensive steel parts are required to complete the flux path. The open flux path is primarily axially directed which reduces eddy current losses. Our technology is based on understanding that two magnets interact with both attraction and perpendicular repulsion forces. Magnets are attracted to the shortest distance between pole faces and the point where repulsion forces are balanced. This point of balance has been given many names including cogging and sticking point. Moving away from the point of balance requires mechanical work and involves storing potential energy. If magnets are symmetrical, the forces and the work in both directions are obviously the same. Typical synchronous motors achieve asymmetry by turning off electromagnets while passing magnets are disengaging. We make the magnets asymmetric, but many physicists would be able to prove that our asymmetric magnets in themselves produce no net force. They would be absolutely correct. Attraction and repulsion forces inherently cancel but we are able to nullify one or the other of these forces to yield a net force greater than the force in a typical motor. We have fitted the textbook equation curves to our actual test data for magnet pairs producing peak forces at plus and minus 11 degrees. Net attraction forces are barely affected by gap changes, but repulsion forces are discontinuous with a nearly instantaneous reversal at the point of balance. We cannot make measurements for repulsive forces, but we can accept that net unnullified repulsive forces are equal to the net attraction forces. The instantaneous reversal effect may have attributes of Tesla's coils and his AC motors, so repulsion motors may be the easier way to achieve self-spinning.